Hi, Joe Ryan with Precision Digital here. I recently had the opportunity to work on a very interesting Consolidator Plus application and I thought I would share. In this application, the Consolidator Plus is connected up via RS-485 to a model PD-6088 Modbus Master and to a Magnetrol Eclipse Guided Wave Radar 706 transmitter. A precision digital 24 volt DIN rail mounted power supply is providing power to the consolidator and to the magnetrol unit. In this specific application, the consolidator is monitoring the states of four salt water tanks and displaying in feet and inches the level of each. This consolidator is going to be running a salt water tank valve control station where there will be two loading stations for trucks to pull up and pump out the salt water. There's valve one and valve two, one for each one of the truck loading stations. The operators want to time how long the truck has the valve open for so that they don't drive off without closing the valves. And so in the actual application, there's going to be a 30 minute countdown timer for valve one and valve two so that every 30 minutes, the valves will automatically close even if the operators left them open. Opening and closing those valves is gonna be controlled by soft keys on the Consolidator Plus for open valve one, close valve one, open valve two, close valve two. In addition, the valves will automatically close if any of the tanks fall below 20%. What makes this particularly interesting is that we're doing all this with the Modbus snooper capabilities of the Consolidator Plus. A PLC in the field, being having its features duplicated by this PD6088 Modbus Master, is going out on the three-wire 485 line and connecting up to the Eclipse 706, pulling out its Modbus data, taking out the top level values. The idea is to add the Consolidator Plus to this existing system without having to reprogram the Magnetrol units or the PLC. And we can do that with the Consolidator Plus's snooper mode. Every time the master makes a request of a specific Modbus register from a specific Modbus device, the Consolidator is going to capture that response and use it to display that level information for tank 1, 2, 3, and 4 from Magnetrol transmitters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because the consolidator is just packet sniffing and it's just looking for that information reply, neither the PLC nor the magnetrol units need to have any idea that the consolidator is even on that 485 bus. So no reprogramming is required of either of those units. And that's exactly what's happening here. As I pull out PV1, which is telling me that there's 18.9 feet of level in that tank, it's getting that information, of course, from the Modbus transmitter, seeing if there's 18.9 feet in that tank. And every time that magnetrol transmitter responds, the Consolidator Plus is capturing that value and using it as an input that we're then controlling alarms and other display information off of. So what is the Consolidator actually doing here? Well, when I hit my open valve one, it's going to restart the countdown timer in the field, this would be set to 30 minutes, but for this application, we're just using 20 seconds to show you how it would respond. Then the operator can either hit close valve one to close that valve, or if time runs out, that valve will automatically close and the timer will turn red and flash to show me the fact that I've run out of time. And if I need to continue pumping, I need to open the valve again. Let's see how that works. So I'm gonna hit the open valve one button, keeping in mind the Consolidator Plus is not a touch screen, I have to use the solid rubberized push buttons at the bottom. And now you can see that the valve one status has changed to open. To the, screen now, the screen now shows green so that I know things are going. And my valve one countdown timer has begun. If I run out of time on that countdown timer, my valve status returns to closed. And to draw your attention, my valve one countdown timer has turned red and blinks. If the truck has already left, 
and the next driver pulls up and sees that, or if the current truck just needs more time, they can just hit open valve one again, and it's going to restart and give me another 30 minutes. If I get done before that countdown timer finishes, all I have to do is push my close valve one button, the valve one status goes to closed, the relay controlling that valve appropriately changes state of course, and if I hit open valve one again, it restarts my timer back to, in this case, 20 seconds, but in the field, 30 minutes. And both the valves are independently timed and controlled. So you can see I can open valve one here, and then if halfway through that process, another truck pulls up and needs to open valve two, both of them are controlled independently, and the timers for each are separate. This is the perfect way to install a valve control system with a great display into a system that already exists and is currently using manual valves. The ability of the consolidator to use its snooper mode to snoop that existing 485 communication means they, that this customer is gonna save themselves a ton of time and setup modifying their PLC code. The consolidator is also available as a division two non-incentive product so installing it in the hazardous areas is extremely easy and you wouldn't need barriers to go from the safe area to the consolidator, which is a great plus. And you don't get that on a, specifically on a Div 1 product. But as this is going to go in that Div 2 area, it's a perfect fit. Thank you very much. I hope you find this application interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or anybody from Precision Digital to learn more about the Consolidator Plus.